Yesterday we did a quick upload just to get the video footage out on the web for people that had homes or family still over there who weren't getting any information back. Today we're going to have a little closer look at some of the video that we took, slow it down and take some snapshots and analyze it. But before we do that, I'd like to give a big shout out to the folks over at JBI who have taken all this stuff in, put it into pallets, gotten the city of Coral Springs behind them, and even got the Coral Springs Fire Department in on it. You guys are the best. The stuff's being loaded on the boat as we speak, and it's going to head out tonight or first thing in the morning. Yesterday we wrapped things up talking about the villages, um, a little village that's just south of the airport and north of the ferry dock. These folks are cut off out here. Their road is underwater, and we're trying to get people out there as quickly as possible. But this is what the villages used to look like. So you can tell there were quite a few people habitating there, and now there's, like I said, not a livable structure standing. Biggest questions is the airport and the road going to the airport. As we said yesterday, that airport is open. Uh, planes are landing and taking off from there. Um, this is where the road that goes back to the villages, the one on the left, is underwater. And just to the right of that is the ferry dock. It is open. Now we followed the road down, and like we said yesterday, this is the only spot that we can see where there might be water over the road, but I can't see it to be able to confirm if there is or is not flooded. The road into Treasure Key is the one going to the left here. We're flicking to turn around and give it to you from the other side. That is Treasure Key up uh, to the top of your screen and then there's the water that is still standing on the road but it does look like it's passable. Moving on to the marina, I, I still every time I look at this I can't believe it but if you take a close look right here's where the tipsy was next to that was the dock master's office next to that was the jewelry store and then they had these two new structures that they were building while we were there I'm not sure what they were and then just to the right of that is the spinnaker and the rental boat place Wilson I hope you and your family are doing well as for the treasure K hotel it didn't fare so well either almost 80 percent of the hotel looks like it's been lost most units that lost their roofs look like they caved in in the middle. I think this is going to be a total teardown. Directly behind the hotel is the supermarket, liquor store, police station, and of course, Miss Florence's. The first building with the police station and supermarket is pretty much a total loss. The second building that has Miss Florence's in it, as well as the laundromat, looks like it's still standing. However, it looks like a lot of roof damage so I can only assume there's going to be a lot of water intrusion. And circling around, this is the back view, uh, the spinnaker on the left to the tipsy pool on the right. As we continue our flight path, uh, we run into the villas. And as I said yesterday, it looks like uh, the first two to three rows are flooded on beach side, and the last two to three rows have just a sustained uh, wind damage. Making another pass over the beach, you can see what's left of the Coco Bar here. And the Bahama Beach Club Phase 1 has sustained substantial damage to the roofs, and a few of them look like they've collapsed in on themselves. Phase 2 is not quite as bad, but they've still taken quite a hit. One of the requests was for a little close-up of the point. This is the best I got of it and this is where we're coming back into the canals we do have a follower by the name of Tony he wanted to see if his boat was still in the lift Tony I believe this is your house coming up on the right hand side of the screen but you can barely make it out there but these are the rest of the canals and Tony will come back to your house in just a second I think that's you with the uh, driveway there, Tony. Looks like the boat is in the lift, but it does look like there was a little bit of damage, uh, possibly to the house itself, but man, I hope I'm wrong. You're in the bottom left-hand corner, and that's the closest shot I could get of the boat. Dave and Paul, that's the best shot I got of your house. I'm so sorry to see it leveled like that.
has a request where you're checking the inlet and it looks like the inlet is fairly clear and the markers are still up to be able to deal with the inlet with that murky water. Now we're going to pull back here to Rock Point where we had another request. The, obviously the home on the end of Rock Point is taking a little bit of roof damage but the uh, smaller home next to it is pretty much gone. And that's the last of the footage I have of Treasure Key. Like I said if you saw something that you wanted uh, me to zoom in on or back up to shoot me an email I'll do the best I can. We want a special shout out to the folks out in Coral Springs especially JBI and c &E Logistics and especially the Coral Springs Fire Department who sent 10 of their guys out to help load these boats to get them out of here today. Thanks guys, couldn't have done it without you. If you're looking for a way to support, please see the links below. We also have a concerned viewer that has family in Bahama Palm Shores, about 30 miles south of Marsh and about 20 miles north of Sandy. If anyone has any information on this area, please comment below.